Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. The plan for today is going to be to spawn an enemy from each of the enemy spawners. And make sure that works, make sure they're rendered and we can see them easily. Most of the functionality is still existent in game state. But we're going to have to move stuff around a little bit. That includes especially to tile map so that we can actually spawn enemies. This is going to be a little bit of a hacks fix type thing. I'm going to think a little bit about how I'm going to do this. But for today this should be fine. So let's go in, hop into gamestate.h and start here. We have a vector called active enemies. It's a vector of enemies. I want to use this in game state and in tile map. To be perfectly clear, what we're going to need is to send in that enemy vector into this update tiles function in tile map. But we don't have an include for enemies here. So I'm just going to do a class enemy here. And we're going to forward declare that. I'm not going to include it here. Since after 142 videos, I realized how to use that correctly. I've been really dumb. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you are pissed with me, but that should be fine. Um... But it might be that we have to include it anyway. We'll see. We'll experiment on this together. Let's start off, first of all. Go to the function in tilemap.h called update tiles. And here we're going to copy paste this thing, this entire std vector. We're going to copy paste that into this parameter list. And we're going to put a reference there since we're going to add something to it. I'm going to add a map for our textures as well. Since every state, if you go into state.h, you'll see we have a textures map that we can use to create our rats. This is something I'm going to have to work on to make a little better. Because this isn't a good way to create enemies in our map by setting textures manually and stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another class or some kind of handler or some kind of functionality that can automatically create a rat enemy for us through a function that will assign the correct texture, assign the correct enemy, and it will go ahead and, and give us a rat back. That's what we're going to do through here later on. But for now, we'll do this manually. Here, you probably don't want anything else. You probably want a const here since it's going to give a texture back. You know what? We're not going to risk it. We'll keep it like this. Anyway, once that's done, copy these two parameters since we're going to have to put them in tilemap.cpp. Find your update tiles function and paste them right there. I'm going to do a new line so you can see what's going on as well as in here so you can see what's going on with these. So we have a active enemies vector and a textures map. That is perfect. Second step, number two. We did this in the last video. We checked if we have an enemy spawner. If it is an enemy spawner, we're going to see if we can spawn something here. So you're going to have to make these curly braces, these beautiful things, right around this if statement. We're going to set the spawn to true, and we're going to actually spawn an enemy here. The reason we have this spawned, again, is so we don't spam spawn stuff, because you're going to crash real quick. You're going to go down burning if you don't have this beautiful functionality right here. Once that's done, go ahead and also include... See, I knew we are going to mess up. See? I, I, I knew it. I knew it. What we're going to have to do, because I'm dumb, is we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to include... Uh, enemy includes here. Go ahead and remove entity by this point because enemy includes has just about everything you need. Once that is done, our tile map will include everything as well. We don't have to do that include again from game state.h. Go ahead and remove that include enemy includes. All this forward declaration, all this bull crap that I did is wrong mostly. It's not supposed to be used in this way since I'm dumb again. Uh, but you have to live with it for now. We'll clean it up later. Once you have this enemy includes in tilemap.h, you should be able to spawn an enemy at this point. It's that easy. It's that easy. Now, how do we spawn an enemy? We have this active enemies uh, local variable, the parameter that's coming from outside. I'm going to push 
a new rat enemy into this vector and I'm going to put it at the location of the enemy spawner. Now, I'm not putting at the center of this tile. We're going to make a function that we can get the center of the tile easily. We're not going to put it at the center. We're going to put it from the top left. To do that, I'm going to just do x multiplied by this grid size f, y multiplied by this grid size f, and give it the texture from textures rat I think it's called rat sheet one see this is not what we want we don't want to do this manually since that hurts us we can do errors really easily you'll have a bunch of crap going on so we're gonna make some functionality for functionality for that later on I promise for now this is testing we're good to go we're gonna push back one of these we need to make sure once again that we're deleting these in game state dot cpp so go ahead go to your destructor Try to find it. We're deleting all the active enemies. Make sure you have that and don't mess that up. Next step is to just run this. And what we should see is that we should get a crash because I'm dumb. Uh, first of all, always require some crashes in my videos. We are going to go into GameState.cpp. Obviously, we need to send these in here where we're calling it. So this active enemies and this texture, textures, textures, not texture run this no obviously it's not gonna let me run it so we're gonna go back and check for more errors uh, that is fine that is fine where's the error here grid size no god damn it grid size kudos to those of you who saw that uh, you have the right to comment something to me there you go oh okay Ooh, ooh, you look at that, look at that, they're black. And that is because we don't have a texture. There you go. Go into your game state.cpp, go up to where you're initializing the texture, and find what you have done. Okay, rat one sheet is the correct way to go. Guys and girls, we found a winner. Let's just take that and run it now. You should see a rat spawn real nicely for you in each of the enemy spawners. Still no, that's great. Okay, we got some errors because we did not send it in as a reference. We would like that so we can get the texture out of here as a reference as well. Don't forget that. Put a reference in there. You could put this as a cost reference if you would like. That is a possibility. Once you put that in, you run it. You will see rats chilling, relaxing right here in our map uh, without a problem. And we're spawning rats, and they're only spawning once since we're not lagging or crashing, obviously. So we're all good. You can try to run this in release as well if you're having some issues. So this should be working in release and in debug. Both Always check that out so you're not getting errors in one, and you can't build the other one. Since when you're done with the game, you most probably want to release it or uh, compile it in release mode so you get all the optimizations all the beautiful frame rates usually your debug might lag sometimes so if you're experiencing lag and stuttering, stuttering and stuff usually that might be because of the debug mode so here you go rats are working that's fine we have so much to work on we need to make beautiful different hp bars for the rats we need to make uh, all kinds of ui elements i'll make sure to make a little map as well and make this functionality so that we can we can create enemies so i think i'm gonna create an enemy some type of a handler class called enemy creator or something like enemy master or something and then we're just gonna go ahead link that and keep that in game state an enemy master and that's gonna create enemies for us we can just send that into our tile map and that will create enemies for us it's gonna be like a particle system yeah we can call it enemy system right so there you go enemy system and the particle system we need those two actually and we have to be able to send those out and create stuff for that so it's going to be kind of a static class singleton kind of class that we'll use for that and it's going to be very very easy for us to create enemies there you go guys and girls mostly that's it we had a little discussion at the end there's not much more to do in this video mostly just talking make sure you delete your stuff make sure you're checking the correct things go ahead and play around with this create other enemy types do your thing um, think about how you're going to implement the enemy enemy master enemy system we might call it think about it check it out we need to play around with the includes make it more clean promise i'll get to that one file at a time 
uh, once I have the energy and the mood for that. So there you go. Thank you again for so much for watching. Take care. Hopefully you learned something. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.